Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thanks so much for asking. What's your name, please? My name is Lindsay. What is your name? It's, it's nice to meet you, Lindsay. I'm Richard and I'm from Brazil. Richard, nice to meet you. How, how was your day today? My day was pretty great. I worked today. I also studied a little bit of English, you know, reading through reading a couple of books. Oh. I tried to at least do a few exercises before, you know, logging on here on Cambly. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, and what did you read about today? You know, I read about, you know, present perfect, about um, prepositions in English and uh -huh. things like that. Because I think the more we see those things, the better we become. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's good. And did you, were you able to understand it? Yes, I was. I think, and I, you know, when I understand something, I like to review it every day to mm -hmm. stuck it in my mind. So <laughs> I think it's better. Yeah, yeah, okay. And yeah, but mostly I use Cambly every single day to practice my speaking, you know, my speaking skills and things like that. I see. Well, you speak very well. I'm sure you hear that a lot. <laughs> and you have a nice smile, too. So it's nice to be able to talk to someone that's always smiling. Oh. Thank you. Where are you from? Uh, I live in Texas. I live in Texas. Uh, my family is from Mexico, but I was born and raised here in the United States. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, are you able to speak Spanish? Yes, I, I speak Spanish and I also speak Romanian. Romanian, awesome. Yes, How yeah. did you learn it? Uh, I did some volunteer work and so I moved over there. I was there for th three years. So just living with the people and I was able to learn it. <laughs> and it's oh, similar, great. it's similar to Spanish, it's Latin based. It's oh, Latin. I see. So it's great. That's what made it easier to learn. Because because if I didn't know the word in Romanian, I would just say in Spanish, and half of the time it was very similar. Great, it's like Portuguese. Uh, if you yes. talk to me in Spanish, I can definitely understand you, but I can't speak it. You know, I you know I used to study Spanish, uh, you know, as well as English. So I, I was studying both languages, but then I realized it's better to focus on one language because I can, you know, make the most out of my studies. So mm -hmm. yeah, I stopped studying Spanish, you know, a little bit. So, mm -hmm. but, you know, hopefully one day I will study again. It. <laughs> Is there a lot of people that speak Spanish where you live? I don't think so. Uh, I think a lot of people uh, study English here, mm -hmm. you know, English is <laughs> the main language. Yes. We we also study English at school. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not that good. Mm -hmm. so, you know, when I finished high school, I was not able to have a conversation in English. I was not able even to. You know, I I didn't know the verb to be. <laughs> yes, yes, I understand. And, yeah. Yeah, and the verb to be is is saw as something difficult. But it's the it it is the most basic thing in English. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I I never took a foreign class in high school, but it seems like a lot of people that took like Spanish uh, for like four years at the end never knew how to speak it, even though they took it four years at school, which is interesting. Um, how that happens? I wonder what. I wonder if it's because you don't practice it, perhaps. Why do you think that is that? Uh, great question. Yeah, sometimes we only we say, "Oh, our, um, for example, my school don't doesn't have a good English class." But sometimes <laughs> we don't, you know, put a lot in, a lot of effort into it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we we can't complain only about the school. So I think it's everything. It's the way English is presented, I think. For example, people see, oh, okay, English is, is important. English is, uh, we can talk to a lot of people around the world. But I think the way it is shown, 
people don't realize when they are in high school how important it is. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why we don't learn English at school. Yeah. But, but I definitely believe that we can learn English without studying in a private English school. We can study by oh, yeah. ourselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how I learned Romanian. I mean, I just learned it on my own I mean, by reading and talking to people. Because there was no, <laughs> there was no online schools. There was no schools. Nothing. Nobody speaks Romanian and no Oregon. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I think I agree with what you said. It also depends on the person. Um, yeah. If the person has the motivation to learn. So, uh, if a student really wanted to learn English, they can make the best out of the situation, even if it's not. The greatest, you know, opportunity or yeah, yeah. Uh, the greatest uh, structure, English teaching structure at the moment. But yeah. yeah, I think if we only rely on our schools, we will not learn anything. We need to have, you know, an inner motivation to learn everything. Yes, I agree with you. Uh, Richard, do you have any children? No, I do not. Oh, okay. I don't have any. <laughs> well, the reason why I agree with that is, for example, when I am at school, a lot of parents rely on the teachers for the student to learn everything. And it's not just the school responsibility. It's also the parents. They The kid learns at school, but also the parent has to do the other part for the child to succeed. So the same thing, learning a language, you can have the the lesson materials and everything, but then you have to put your half and effort to be able to succeed. Yeah, totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have been studying English for three years. Mm -hmm. And throughout this time, I realized English, I think, I don't know other languages, but I would, I think so. I think you can learn any languages uh, if you have, you know, what is the word I'm looking for? If you are committed to learning it, because, you know, every day when you hear people, when you listen to people speaking in, a, in that language, we will realize that they use the same words, they use the same construction, they, I think each language has its patterns, right? Yes, yes, uh-huh. Yeah, yes. And once we realize that, everything gets easier, I think. No, it's true. There was an article uh, that I read uh, a year or two ago that English, to speak English, all you need to learn is 500 basic vocabulary words. That's 500. And that is enough for you to be fluent in English. Just 500 words. That's not that much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we really, but we need to know really well those 500 words. <laughs> yeah, put them into practice. That's true. Because uh, let me tell you, even though I was born and raised here, I went to school here and everything, every day I learned, well, not maybe every day, but pretty often I learned a new English word. You know, so even as a native speaker, I mean, there's so many words out there that's amazing yeah yeah. So. yeah there are so many words you know in my native language portuguese when i read a book i i have the the opportunity to learn so much and it's great it's really awesome especially because a lot of people think oh when you are fluent you'll know how to say everything but it's not it's not true because when sometimes we are talking about for example, political things, economics, we are not familiar with those topics. We, kn we know, don't know the words they you know, use in, in those vocabularies. So, yeah, <laughs> even in, in our mother tongue, right? For example, if I'm going to speak with you about politics, mm -hmm. politics, no, I wouldn't say politics, uh, law. Let me say law, laws. I'm not good at it, mm -hmm. so... Neither you am know, I. I <laughs> Yeah, so I would feel like even in my first language, uh, 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 oh my gosh, <laughs> mm -hmm. so am I not fluent in my native language because I, you know, I struggle to to speak about those topics? <laughs> no, yeah, I definitely agree with you. Uh, when I first went to Romania, I thought I was fluent, but then I went to the grocery store 
And I realized I didn't know a lot of names of fruits and vegetables. <laughs> you know, and it's because, because I never talked about fruits and vegetables before. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's a great thing. Yeah, it, it, it's so funny you brought that up because we focus on talking about complex things, for example, converse like we are doing right now. We are having a conversation about education, mm -hmm. and sometimes, you know. Common fruits, yeah. we don't know the name mm -hmm. <laughs> because we because I think those topics usually don't come up. <laughs> yeah, or you don't think of them as important to know. You know, it's like I don't. Why do I need to know how to say eggplant and you know <laughs> Portuguese? <laughs> you know, <laughs> unless I want to make a an eggplant dish. Uh, but yeah, that's true. That's very true. <laughs> and um, so. Where do you, do you live in a large city or in a small city? Yeah, I do. I live in a in a large city. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the name of my city is Guarujá. Oh, okay. It's in the yeah. It's located in the state of São Paulo. Mm -hmm. Have ever heard of São Paulo? Oh yeah, that's very popular. Yeah, it's a popular one, and I live you know on the coast mm -hmm. of the state, and so it's a I, I like the place. I think it's really great to live in. Mm -hmm. It has lots of things to do. For example, the region that I live, there are so many cities nearby. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of options. So if I don't have anything to do in my city, I could look for other cities to go oh, to. Oh, you know? <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. And Brazil is a very rich, rich uh, country. It has a lot of like agriculture and then not just agriculture, but also, I mean, culture itself, like people, a lot of history. Lot yeah. Of interesting history. Sometimes, yeah, when we travel, when you go sometimes, you know, to the northeastern area, it's like we are in another country because there, are, you know, culture are a little bit different. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, that's how I felt too, because I am originally from Oregon, Portland, Oregon. It's a, it's a state close to Canada. And then I came to Texas. Uh, I don't understand what people talk about here. They they speak English very firmly. I don't even think it's English. They say weird <laughs> things. It's like, what are you talking about? Uh, when I went to school to work at the school, I had little kids that, Tita, when we fix it to go to lunch. Am I fixing? What do you mean fixing go to lunch? <laughs> They what say they fix, what they mean is when are we going to lunch? Going. Oh, oh my gosh! How did so, they say? Fixing, 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 fixing. Oh I know, and I'm like, what is fixing? Like? I have no idea what fixing is. And eventually, I understood. It's like, oh, to go. Because they're like, teacher, why are we fixing to go to recess? And I'm like, recess? We're fixing. And <laughs> then I'm like, oh, when are we going to recess? You know, going. Yeah. That's what it means. Yeah. Or fixing to go to the store. Fixing, you know, I'm fixing to do this. I'm going mm -hmm. to fix it. So, yeah, just in Texas, it was a whole different culture for me. <laughs> it was a culture shock. I, I still, like, uh I still have, <laughs> I'm still learning things here. Great. It's so funny, you know, to know that even you and it don't understand people. <laughs> no. And then another state here in the South and Louisiana, Louisiana, where New Orleans is at, um, mm -hmm. they will say Yemen. Yemen. I'm like, what is Yemen? <laughs> and it's, you know what I mean. They say Yemen. They're like Yemen. Ah, Yemen. Yeah, it looks like, but it looks like that. But oh my gosh, I would, I would be like you. What? Yeah, Yemen? yeah. Yemen. I would always like. Are they talking? What are they talking? Are they talking French? What are they? It's English. I could never understand them, but they were speaking <laughs> English, and I thought they were speaking like French or Portuguese or something. I never understood them. So. Anyways, <laughs> even here in the United States, it's it's different. Uh, Great. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm out of time, unfortunately. That's all right, Richard. Thanks so much for the Likewise. incredible class. I, I love this conversation. <laughs> Great, me too. Okay, take care, Richard. Bye-bye.
think uh, have a lovely day. Thank Is it day or night? Evening. It's evening. Yeah. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>